black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, on today's menu, honey hot fried chicken with buttermilk mac and cheese. First, you're gonna wanna get some saran wrap, throw a chicken breast in there, get your Thor hammer, bang that thing flat, but nice and even all across the way, kinda like you're doing a chicken parmesan, essentially. Uh, once that's done, you're gonna throw that into buttermilk, just submerge it, essentially, toss it in the fridge. And now we're gonna make our dredge, so a cup of flour, a cup of cornstarch, and then you season it however you want, but I use garlic powder, pepper, salt, nutmeg, some Old Bay, and paprika as well. So you can just kind of do it however you want. Uh, I put a little seasoned salt in there as well, and then you just mix her up, just like so. Put that off to the side, and then we're gonna make a little roux here. I just used a little bit of the dredge with some butter to get that nice and thick, and then we add the buttermilk, maybe a cup, cup and a half. Come in with your whisk, just kind of get it all incorporated, and then you're gonna go in with, bam, some cheese. This is craft cheddar of course we're whipping that back out but then some real cheese as well just spin that up until it's nice and incorporated pop that off next we're going to make the honey hot sauce so butter in the pan some honey in the pan whatever hot sauce you want in the pan i use frank's a little worcestershire a little barbecue sauce sweet baby rye and just spin that up once again let it kind of simmer out put it off to the side let it thicken up a little bit of course if we're gonna add mac and cheese you gotta boil up some noodles i'm using cavatelli 10 minutes, those things are nice and al dente, perfect. Next, we gotta fry the chicken, so come in with the oil, get it nice and hot. Lay it in, I would say probably like three, four minutes a side I did. Six to eight minutes can usually fry chicken up pretty nice and keep it nice and moist and tender, still get it crispy. Now we just chuck that in the bowl, throw that beautiful sauce over it, looking amazing, so glossy, so shiny. Very, very nice, just cut it up, let it set a little bit. And then of course, just bring the cheese back, bring the mac back, whip it up, get it all nice and ooey gooey and ready to go. And then you just have to pour up into your dish. I'm using the pie crust, of course, the pie crust container, you guys know this. <laughs> and an instant crunchy top of instant made crispy onions. Lay out your chicken on top and then just enjoy a nice, beautiful, food porn moment of the drizzling of that final sauce that was left in that bowl just to, you know, you gotta, you gotta treat it like that. You gotta pamper that chicken right at the end there. So it's a nice slow drizzle and then we gotta come down for a beautiful inspection of this delicious little masterpiece here. I will let you bask in the glory before I do the honors. All right, yo, back with a Mac attack on my chef shit a little bit. Uh, this is definitely inspired by Quan Tran. I watched him do this video a little while ago. My recipe is a little bit different, but ever since I watched that video, I've just been daydreaming about making it. So today is the day that we do that. And you guys have seen some up closes, but let me just give you another little light one before we go ahead and pour ourselves a nice beverage here. But some nice, like spicy, hot glazed fried chicken. We got the mac and cheese, and of course, you guys know, I've been hitting up these uh, crispy onions all the time. So let's pull this back on our little cloth thing here to make sure we don't have too much clinking of plates against each other. But you guys know that we must pour. So today definitely deserves to bring in the Pepsi Zero because this is a meal definitely fit for a Pepsi Zero, I would have to say. Moment of silence for that fizz. Man, I'm so excited to eat this. Like, ugh, I'm salivating. I'm literally salivating. I just know that the cheese is gonna be so like rich and then that sweetness and uh, spiciness cutting through the cheese just cause cheese is super good with, with uh, like sweet things too. Like just like a cheese board for dessert, so good. Cheese and jam sandwiches, it's a real thing, very good. Should try it if you haven't, super bomb. But let's do this. 
I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this crispy, crispy piece back here, the tail end. And you know what? Real good. I brought a spoon for this very reason. I wanna make sure I get an all encompassing bite. Is that an everything bite? That's an everything bite. So ready for this. Big bite, hard bite. Perfectly cooked. I put nutmeg in there in the uh, chicken batter seasoning, the dread. That's making a, uh, a noticeable difference in the flavor profile. I'm definitely gonna have to cut this chicken up a little bit. I'm kind of confused though as to what went wrong with the chicken in the frying process with the battering because I've made it this way Time and time again. Buttermilk, cornstarch, and flour, but for some reason the, the coating didn't want to take after uh, I was done frying it and I think maybe I sauced it a little too early maybe like with the the uh, the honey hot I think I might have like steamed it and lifted all good nonetheless but would definitely have to work on the coating for the next one, figure out what went, what went kind of wrong there. Mm. But it's so good. Mm. Chicken's so tender. That honey hot sauce is cutting through the mac so perfectly. Easy recipe, easy to make. I'm sure there's ways you could honestly simplify it even more but that's what's up I love these noodles too I think it's cavatelli I personally like how they hold sauce in the spiral See, I'm not falling apart. Let's 
still those crispy batter bits. Are doing their thing. I'm getting spicy in the face. I feel it. So good. Alright, just chopped up these chicken pieces so I can more freely engage with you and talk to you about, uh, I was saying in my last video, like an idea I had to want, wanted to run by you guys, an idea I have that I want to do. I'm looking into it, it's pretty plausible. I just have to find the right, uh, like service provider to do it through. But, at the end of the year, like a Christmas miracle basically for me, but for you too, maybe as well. I'm trying to make this an even exchange. Um, on January, I think it's best to do on a Saturday. So it's January the 2nd, not the best time um, due to the fact that it'll be, people will be like super hungover from New Year's Eve. But I'm planning on lining up and promoting a pay-per-view live stream. I think I want to, it'll be like 10 bucks. And it's basically a fundraiser for me for a certain reason, but also a hair reveal for you. So it'll be a live event. We will do a hair reveal. I will continue to live stream just minus the hat. And uh, you know, you can go crazy. You say whatever you want. Just react however. And also like, I'd be drinking. We'll do live eating. We'll chat, interact, I'll answer questions, get a bit saucy, just hang out, eat food, maybe play a game of some sort, but it's been a long time coming. I think it'd be a fun event, and the main reason is I'm using it as a way to get a dental issue fixed. So I have a huge hole in my back molar that I just was basically suffering with it. And I don't have dental coverage. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a wealthy guy. So uh, I just, I need to get it fixed. <laughs> pretty soon here just because it's getting tough to to exist with and especially eat like I'm just always eating essentially so it's like it gets rough it gets painful so I was trying to think of a way what could I offer you guys in terms of and then get like a crowdfunded sort of scenario where just I can get my mouth fixed so I can continue to just consume on here and shit. Anyways, I have an idea to like put together just like a little mini promotional trailer because I want to run this promotional trailer for the next like three weeks. And I will, in the trailer, show the molar because it's it's rough, it's big, like the hole is big, it's bad. It's down to the root. <laughs> I can feel like so many things. Uh, just get like when they're lodged in there or just like cold water makes me just. Basically die, so yeah. 
I wanted to create a live event, sign up for it way ahead of time or right up until the day. You'll get a link and then you'll get reminders. And then eventually, once the day comes, boom, we go live. I might even do a live haircut, I was thinking. That could be funny. But yeah, just hang out, drink. Hair reveal, hang out with hair reveal out. All in the name of a good time and a little Christmas miracle for me. So that I can get my mouth situation fixed and have it feel like it's an even trade, right? Like I'm providing some sort of value and entertainment uh, in exchange for that. So I'm, uh, I'm plotting and scheming. Just trying to get a feeling if anybody else would be into that or down. If I got just a few hundred people in there even. Because when I go live on YouTube, it's usually like a hundred people watching, but this would be more of a special event. I think a lot of people would be more inclined to actually want to like show up just out of their own curiosities and maybe out of the kindness of their heart. So I get a few people, a few hundred people in there at 10 bucks, it would pretty much solve my problem. I am probably sweating so hard right now. I can feel it running down. Hmm. That's it. It's so rich. The cheese and the honey make it very, very rich. And I can't handle rich stuff very well. So I'm not a dessert guy. So that's gotta be it. Let me know down below what you think of the live idea, all that. Also, try this. That's dope. It's really, really good. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.